Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, we will see how we can create different headers for different pages inside Elementor absolutely for free. So, if you have a WordPress website with Elementor and you want to have different headers for different pages, you can do it easily by watching this video. And for this, we will use this normal dummy website from Astro Theme. And you can do the same for the footer as well if you want to have different footers for different pages. So, let's see how we can do it. The first thing is we will need to install a free plugin. So, let's go to dashboard. And here we will go to plugins, add a new plugin and we will search for header and footer and you will see this plugin Elementor header and footer just install and activate it and once you activate the plugin you will be able to create headers and footers now so let's go to its settings and you will see all templates we don't have any template for now but we can add a new one so let's click on add new and uh, you can skip this tip and here you can give it a title so we are creating headers we will call it home header because this is for the home page only, I'll select an option which will be header and now this is the display condition so we will display this only on the home page you can see we can display this on entire website, all singular archive pages and so on but for now let's choose the home page ok so I can choose front page this will be our home page ok and this is the user so we can leave this because we want the header for all the users and if you want to add custom fields you can do it but let's leave this for now and let's publish this and we'll edit this with Elementor. Let's close this. And now you can create different type of headers based on your needs. I'll create a few simple headers just to show you. Okay. So the first thing is we need a structure. So let's click on this plus, and we will use this two columns layout. Okay. So I'll click on it, and now we will add a logo here. So I'll add an image, or I can search for logo. This will be the site logo. This is from that plugin that we just installed. Okay. Header footer builder. And this is the website logo that is why it picked that logo ok and uh, we can change the resolution and you can also display captions you can link this to specific page so i'll choose custom url and we'll link this to the home page ok and this is just our logo now and here we will add our menu so again we'll search for menu you can see we can use navigation menu from that plugin so let's drag this and here you can choose the menu so we have selected main menu so I can choose menu or main menu so this is our menu now and for the last menu item you can choose a button like this ok and enable schema support but that's not related to this video we will go to layout and here you can change the layout of this ok I'll just align this to the right side and that's it and let's say this is our header now I'll give this some background color just to differentiate ok so I'll make this pure white like this and that's it let's say this is our header now ok I'll update it and now if I visit the front page of this website which is this one I'll just reload it you can see we got that header with white background that menu and that logo ok again you can customize the header based on your needs now if I go to about page we have that default header here ok and this is because we created the header only for the home page now let's say I want another header on this about page ok so for that I'll go to dashboard again and under appearance I'll go to header and footer builder now we have this home header we can duplicate this or we can create a new one ok I'll add a new one and we'll call this about header ok and the option again will be header and this time I'll choose a specific page ok so I'll go to specific page and I can search for a page here so about page ok I'll select it now if you want to add additional pages like more pages you can do it but I only need this for about page again we will leave this and we'll just publish it and now let's edit with Elementor to create a header again I'll select a structure and this time I'll choose this layout again and we will add a new logo here so instead of logo I'll add an image and I'll use a custom image just to show you some difference and let's say and let's use the white logo for now ok and use this one select it and I can change its width also from here and we'll align this to the left side and we will add a menu here so again I'll use the same menu and we will select our menu here and I will only change its colors just to make some difference ok so on the style tab we will go to text color and uh, we'll change it to this green color ok and for hover I'll change this to red and same goes for the active ok so this is our menu again I will align this to the right side and that's it and you can add more columns if you want to you can add more sections for example I will add a new section just like this 
and I'll add some contact detail here okay so let's say list I'll remove these and we'll upload pun icon here and I'll write a phone number here just for example okay and I'll open up navigator and we have these two containers okay these are the main containers so I'll make this up here okay that's it now I'll update it let's say this is fine okay so I'll just update it and now let's visit the about page so this was the about page let me just refresh it now you can see a different header with white logo that contact info and also a different menu and on the home page we have a different one and on the services page we have their default header okay so this is how we can create different headers for different pages using Elementor absolutely for free and then the same way you can create footers like this okay so if you need a different footer for a different page you can follow the same procedure let me quickly show you if I go back to dashboard and under appearance header and footer builder instead of header we will create a footer okay so I'll call this home footer and uh, we'll select an option which will be footer and display this on the front page only okay because we are only creating this for home and then edit with elementor and now you can start creating your own footer i will not waste your time so let me upload a ready made template here okay and select a file and downloads page i have this photo so i'll, op I'll open this we'll continue it enable in the photo and this is the photo okay so i'll just insert it so you can see we got a complete footer here this was a ready made template okay and if you see this this is for the mobile photo okay so if i switch to mobile view here you can see this is this is only visible on mobile by the way i have discussed this footer in my previous video let me show you okay okay we will just add a menu first just like this so this is now the mobile footer just like a mobile app and this is our desktop footer we will update it and now if i check the home page so this is the home page header it is not looking good and this is our footer okay again on mobile we will have a different footer and if you want to learn more about this footer then you can watch my previous video let me show you if you go to my channel in here search for header and footer and you will see this okay design header and footer and elementor for free so just watch this video for that uh, header and footer for that footer okay and I have lots of videos about Wallface and Elementor as well. So stay connected with my channel. And still if you have any questions about this video, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.